Categorically, yes. <laughs> Hot damn. Hot damn, do we have a good game. Hot oh, damn, on the heels of a new Fallout game. I can, can you believe it? Everyone was so excited when... Uh, after Fallout New Vegas, like, what's coming next in the yeah. Fallout series? It's peaked. And then, and then Fallout 4 was announced. Oh my god, Fallout f new Fallout game. Woo -woo. It's coming out the same year it's being announced. Holy... Yeah, like a couple months. And then it comes out and everyone's like... Mm. Worse than New Vegas, I guess. Yeah, not as good as New <laughs> Vegas, but... But there's fun to be had. Yeah. And then Bethesda crawls out of their cave once again. Todd Howard comes out on E3 and he's like, Hmm, well, you know what you love about Fallout, right? <laughs> yeah? Well, <laughs> imagine if we released a game that had absolutely none of what you love. Exactly. That That is the gist of it with Fallout 76. Now, full disclaimer, this is a first impression sort of deal. We we Somewhat. haven't we haven't dumped an overly large amount of time into it like with Red Dead. And well, I would War. say the fund the fundamentals from what you can understand yeah, we, are so deep within the game. Yeah. It's not the kind of thing that's going to change. No. And with this one I actually made a fair few notes. Um, um so obviously at the time of us recording this there's no metacritic average score for us to um kind of slant our video around. However, yeah. there is a a, a, a Metacritic user score, which is very low at the moment, something like 2.8, I think. 2.6, I think it was. 2.6 was gradually declining. Um, a lot of people in the Fallout community are not happy with this game. Rightly so. Um, I'm glad I'm not a Fallout fan, because... Imagine the I, people I think, that are yeah. fans of Fallout since Fallout 1 and 2. Because they turned yeah. it into a first-person shooter, but they still had the dialogue systems, and with New Vegas, you're essentially getting... What was so fun about it? Yeah, I suppose game. at the time Fallout 3 was somewhat impressive. Yeah. Its scope, you know, mm -hmm. what it allowed you to do, and then they only improved upon it for New Vegas. Yep. Um, <laughs> and then... And then here we are. Yeah, that... I think this is the worst game I've ever bought. I think it's the worst game I've ever paid th money for. I think it's the worst game I've ever got at release date. Like, I was, I was genuinely, like, sat there trying to think of a worst game I've ever bought and played. Mm. And I can't think of one. The thing is, there is there there are things in this game of redeeming quality. That, really? But you you've got to dig not, so deep. Not I wouldn't say redeeming. I'd say just quality. Full stop. Yeah. Well, like it's you can see where the thought was put in, and where the rest was rushed. You know. Yeah. And I I mean this game has the same gameplay loop one for one as Fallout 4. Sort of, yeah. But worse. Yeah, it is worse. Um, so, I mean, where do you want to start with talking about this I game? I want to start with that this game is not fun to play at all. Um, I think this. I think the game is f embarrassing. There, I think it's fucking yeah, abysmal. There are so many problems. Um, I was playing today, and this, this is a big turn to gameplay. When you have too many things on you in the game, when you're carrying too much stuff. So you're stuff, over encumbered. You become over encumbered. Right. And that slows you down. And um they've because like with the Fallout 4 survival um like update that they did, there was a difficulty where everything has weight. Right, yeah. Which in this game everything has weight. Yeah. And every everyone knows how annoying it is in a Bethesda game when it just slows you to a snail's pace until you just stand still and drop a bunch of shit yeah. that you want. And it's it's not fun, it's bad gameplay design. And I discovered today, at your camp, you have like a chest where you can store things. Right. That has a limit. That really? has a weight limit as well. So That's it, what I don't understand. <clears throat> it just like, completely fucks you over. And it, it there, there are other elements of the game that make you want to like have player expression and want to try different things. But that is just like, most like imagine if you're playing Skyrim and the chest didn't have ultimate. Yeah, storage. exactly. It's it the exact same thing. Massive pain. And that's a, the, in Fallout 4, it was the same system. You carry shit, and then you take it to your camp and dump it. But that had bottomless boxes. Why? It's just things like that. Why is that necessary for realism? It's to make Fallout. it harder and more grindy, I guess. 
Because once you fill one thing, then it must be like, okay, now I've got to go grind for a new, a new way but to you, store I, shit. I don't think you can store stuff. You must I, be able I to upgrade it. I think it's it or universal. Something. Maybe there must be an upgrade or some shit. You think so, but I mean, it it just that that blew my mind. And then obviously there's the gunplay, which most of the time just feels wrong. The the, the actual, gameplay itself. Yeah, this, this is a thing, right? All of the hours I've spent playing this game, what would you say it is? I'd say it's close to 10 hours I've played this game. Probably. Um, not one of those hours was fun no. to actually play. Because um, at every road, you're fighting against how, first, how terribly the game runs. And we, yeah. we all have PCs that should be able to run this on Macs without an we'll, issue. We'll talk about more of that stuff when... Uh we go to the like the presentation of the game and the graphics okay, and yeah. so on and so forth. Um, but the actual gameplay, like the shooting, it it belongs uh, around when New Vegas came out. Um, that it is the shooting that New Vegas should have had. Yeah, but even then, it would have been a bit old and jank. Mm. Um, for 2018, for the for for your co-op shooter to feel this bad. To feel yeah. this dated, this clunky, it's completely fucking unacceptable. Uh, but the thing is, the other Fallout games, you could always say you had the interactive characters. Well, you have a story. You, ha I mean, you have a story. You have characters to interact with. That that is a gameplay aspect. Talking to people and getting yeah. information. In that's New half. Vegas. That's literally half. It's half the game, which is why the shooting doesn't that's matter. That's why so everyone much. would forgive the shooting. Yeah, but if that's going to become your coveted mechanic for yeah. the game. It has to be good. It has to be fun. And not only is the actual act of shooting a gun, does it feel like shit. Like, it f mm -hmm. is really unsatisfying, awkward, the reload animations are ugly, the guns are ugly. Then what you're actually shooting at are these primitive AI who are so brain dead, they don't know how to react to you properly, it's, so you can just cheese them. It's the same AI since Oblivion. And you but it's it's worse than Skyrim AI though, because the things that wouldn't work on Skyrim AI works in this game because they mm -hmm. must have um, adjusted it slightly based on like the co-op aspect. Yeah. They just it, they, they have no clue what they're doing. It's, it not, is embarrassing. Not one design it is solid because like okay, everyone criticizes their stories for being whatever all over the place since like Fallout Four or whatever. Yeah, I mean that's all, that's all not even in there. Yeah. Of, there's no story at all. Well, uh, it's all delivered through. There, there is story, and there's a, it's a, a total bit of motivation to do things. But um, what's the motivation? Well, there, there is like a main quest line. You yeah, can there's follow. a main quest line, but there's, there are no, there's no characters. It's all delivered through like yeah, text effectively or audio mm -hmm. logs or whatever. So that's off the tables. So then what what does Fallout 4 do, all right? I guess exploration. And it's like, Fallout okay. Fallout 4 gets exploration and progression, correct? Yeah. Which, this the only good thing that's sort of kept me playing, made it so I could withstand the game, is its progression. Mm -hmm. Which is genuinely quite good. But it's, it's one thing Bethesda have always been good at. Or at least since Skyrim. It's, it's not enough. No, I, it's supposed yeah, to complement totally gameplay. I understand that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the problem I had with New Vegas, why I could never finish it. The problem I had with Fallout 3, why I could never finish it. The gameplay isn't engaging enough to warrant you wanting to get all these interesting mm -hmm. extra little things you can do within yeah. the gameplay. Because it's it's like, if, if you're putting icing on top of shit, you're still not going to want to eat it. Yeah. And that's what those upgrades are. That's the exact reason I was so fucking bored when playing this. Mm-hmm. Like, but but not only that the the world itself is devoid of everything. It's it's a husk. The whole world is a husk, and it makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Like from a from any level, because you're sat there and you're like, okay, I've come out of this vault that's protected you from being nuked, supposedly, right? Yeah. Um, but you, but you come out to a luscious landscape. Doesn't look like it's been. Well, nuked. that that area hasn't been nuked. I think the vault is to protect you from radiation. Okay. From other places. But there are like corpses everywhere of people that have been look like they've been in a in the blast zone. Yeah. They've sort of been frozen. Oh, the, that that's in the story, the explanation for that. This is what I mean. Like it's all clearly written to explain it. 
Yeah. Um, sort of after the fact, as opposed to it's all to justify this co-op mechanic. Yeah. So it's like, right, we design this map. How do we explain it in law? Well, we could make up this bullshit here and this bullshit there. Yeah. It's not satisfying. No, it's, it's not. not especially, story. especially when um, reading bits of paper or listening to audio logs while playing with your friends, impossible. Yeah. Completely impossible. That there's a there's a quest I did. Um, I think it was today, or last night. I can't remember. Yeah. But um, it requires you to listen to s certain like audio tracks. Really. Okay. Which I just had to really, really focus because I was playing with Ruben. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just like, this clearly isn't... Like, even though the whole game is based around being an online co-op thing. Yeah. Survival thing. Like, even their quests, they, they don't... They don't mesh. No. Well, I played some solo. I'd say, like, I've played more co-op. Yeah. I played a bit solo. And both of them are inherently flawed because by yourself it feels really empty. Mm -hmm. um, it, it feels like a husk of a world. But then when you're with players, it's such a clusterfuck, and the gameplay becomes so easy. Yeah, I mean it's not even hard when you're by yourself. Like I just, really? I was probably level four, went into like a town, and there was this big hulking enemy, level forty. Yeah, I just stood on top of a bus. It glitched into a corner, and I just shot it until it died. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's like not even the most like satisfying. Destiny is not as bad as this game. Destiny does does everything that this game ne would have need to have done, but it does it right. That same idea of the sort of grindy MMO light sort of shootery yeah. thing, it does all of it so much better. The presentation is is really good. It runs really well. The gameplay feels way better. The AI is more responsive. Mm -hmm. The mechanics are better. The loot is better. Everything about Destiny is better, and I don't really like Destiny. I would say if Fallout 76 had Destiny's gameplay, mm -hmm. infinitely better game. It would be better, yeah. But both. Um, but then it also but that would be better like than, than both. I, I mean, yeah, that that's a different side of things. Well, Destiny also has a better story than this game. Well, it's actually followable. Well, I mean, Destiny suffers the same problems with co-op. It, it wasn't as bad as this game, though. No. They actually, I mean, at least of, they of tried course. and failed with Destiny uh, to begin with. Like I'd say, there is more to get out of the latest, later Destiny stories over what is lacking in this game. There's just nothing, absolutely devoid. Unless you're, unless you're so like into the Fallout universe that you can fill in the blanks and you're going to go through and read. That's everything. the thing. I, I don't know why, but I've always had an affinity for the Fallout franchise. So have I. I think it's a really cool universe. Yeah, but this, this goes into something that the art direction of this game <laughs> it f it there's something off about it it yeah. feels like from halo 3 to halo 4 you reckon you reckon it's that bad yeah but if all you, if the you, assets are reused fallout 4 though no but i mean fallout 4 as well because if you look at new vegas and 3 mm. they look they have this sort of grit it's i mean like, they're, yeah. they're really ugly games but there's also they're grimy aren't they there's something about it that's like this isn't a nice place to be but people are making the most out of it it might be colour. It might be something to do with the colour. Yeah, everything looks like a cartoon. It looks too nice. But then the old games were kind of cartoony as well, though. Yeah. I don't know what it is with that one, because it's the same fucking engine, so... It just seems a bit... Well, so on, the, on the art off. direction, there's lots of 2D images. Mm. Um, 2D, like, artwork of all the... What's he called? The Vault Boy. Vault Boy, that's the one. Um, the artwork is dreadful. I can't believe how bad it is. Well, it ranges from fine to just like. But I was I I mentioned it on Twitter. Yeah. And someone replied, saying, "Look how good they were in New Vegas." And I was like, "Yeah, they're all really yeah. well drawn. The line works really good." I don't know what the fuck happened. It looks like what like a seventeen year old intern would would draw. <laughs> like it really is that dreadful. It's just that that. That's like an example of what the entire game is like, though. Yeah. Just like rough edges. Mm-hmm. And unfinished. It feels like a beta. Like an it, actual beta. It feels like an alpha. Mm-hmm. It, it, it feels like an early access game. Yeah. And it looks like an this early access game, yeah. and it runs like an early, why I can't, early access game. That's why I can't give it a pass. Because this is Bethesda. A mm -hmm. AAA studio releases 
countless games, many of which are very good, and they're trying to peddle this as if it's worth $60. Yeah. For pro- it's not. It just absolutely isn't. I think it should be f- it should be fucking free. It's that embarrassing. Yeah, it should be free with some microtransaction bullshit. Mm. It's it's that fucking abyss. I'm like I'm not joking. I think it really is embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Again, Fallout Four was old and dated when that game came out. Yeah, it was. and it's the, this is identical to play to, as as to Fallout Four, if not worse. I mean, well, it's worse just because the landscape's different. You can play. You yeah. can go play Rainbow Six. You can go play Destiny. You can go play any number of these Red shooters. Dead 2. Red Dead Two. Any of these games that are. You know, they've actually advanced mechanically. Yeah. I mean, talking about advancements, like the graphics of this game. we ha- You can't not mention how ugly the game is. Yeah. It looks like shit. But not... The, so, I, originally, I was running this game at Ultra, and it ran like dog shit. Mm-hmm. Now, Fallout 4 did not like my PC. Fuck knows why. I don't think any Bethesda game likes anyone's PC, or no. any piece of hardware, because they just... <laughs> They just don't know what they're doing. But the the frame rate was dog shit. The game doesn't even if if you stand still and just look at stuff, it doesn't look great by any means. Well, this is the thing I've heard. Like I've watched a bunch of videos of people talking about it and stuff, and they're like, the map is gorgeous. And it's like, why? Because mm-hmm. it's got nice god rays or whatever. That's not impressive to me. The map no, has no character. Nice. There's nothing to it. There's no landmarks of like real intrigue or interest. No. Because there's nothing that roots any of it. There's, there's been like three places on this enormous map that have been like, ding, I want to go there. Yeah. All the rest is like copy and paste stuff from Fallout 4. Mm-hmm. But, um, the animations. Oh, on, Jesus. On everything. There's one animation that I like. What's that? One. And I was like, wow, I'm actually impressed. Um, it's the getting into the power armor animation. Yeah. Quite the, like that the one. The exact one from Fallout 4. Yeah. But I played Fallout 4 for like an hour, so... Yeah. There's no excuse. There's just no excuse for it. When bears look as shit as they do, where enemies, when they're running at you, just... They look embarrassingly bad. Yeah. It looks it looks like Ark Survival Evolved. It looks like a game of, of that studio size. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not what, right. What have they been doing? When did Fallout come out? 2015? Or was it 2014? I think it was the same year as The Witcher 3. So 2015, right? 15, I think. Three years? Yeah. Three years? It's just not on. No, it's... And it's gross as well that they choose, like, such a beloved series. So, of course, they just know so many people are going to defend well, it. Yeah, I was just thinking when I was taking a shit five minutes ago. <laughs> um... So they they saw that all games are doing this, right? Yeah, three this years always ago, online yeah. service yeah. since Destiny One, and they're like, "Well, let's let's do it. Let's do one. Mm-hmm. So let's get out Elder Scrolls. Oh wait, we we made Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, can't do that. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, "Oh, we've got nothing else to do it with. We'll just shit a Fallout one out." And that is so disrespectful to. It just doesn't even make sense for the IP to me. No, because the what Fallout One and Two are, like you could it, their franchise is Elder Scrolls, you know, their original one, one yeah. that didn't inherit, I guess. Or the buy. one that they inherited was a story-based, um, like super in-depth world full of lore, loads yeah, of story, and you can role have playing. an impact on the story, role-playing, and this just takes so much of that away. You have to be so much more harsh on it when there is no story. Yeah. Not like a traditional story mode or any choice. But not only is the story bad, or might as well be non-existent. It is um, non-existent. It, it, there is a story there. That, like, that's just a fact. But you, c- you if you're going to play with your friend, it, it, uh, if you're going to play with at least one friend, you ain't going to know shit about it. But um, yeah, not not only is the story non-existent, the quests are th- the worst I've seen <laughs> f- in a long time. You know, the, just yeah, the the pure game design. Mm-hmm. 
is so bad on every level. I just can't believe it. Like the stuff they have you doing. It's the it's the worst stuff that Bungie would get you to do in Destiny now and again. But somehow worse than that. Well, if if it's not killing something, you're picking up something. Mm hmm If you're not picking up something It's you're just fetch quests going effectively. somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's the There was one quest I've done so far that was like that's different, and it's the one I already told you about. Where you have to like interact with these audio things, which is impossible because it's co-op. <laughs> so I just had to guess. Who is this game for? Is my question. Who the fuck is it supposed to be for? Because they would have known. When people hear Fallout, they think role-playing game, story, yeah, choices. I. The thing is that their motivations. I could see how this could be a good game. Not, not that it's under not, Bethesda, not under Bethesda but not that it's. I don't think it's inherently a bad idea. Under the right developer, it could be made into something good. Not that that matters now. I just can't see it with anything Bethesda being anywhere near it. Something like this happening that requires mm. balancing with multiple players, um, online connections, online features. We haven't even mentioned how awkward it is to sort of add people. Um, how if you're playing with a controller on PC, you just c you can't switch between it with these. Yeah. It's, it's all very did, like. Didn't counter. yours uh, freeze when you unplugged your Xbox controller? Yeah, when I unplugged my Xbox controller to go on the keyboard to add someone, the game crashed. So every time I close the game, the game crashes, and and I have to either sit there or reset my PC. <laughs> And and they don't even get the excuse of it being single player, so the fans can just mod it, yeah, and fix it because the fans can't mod it and fix it because balancing is required, and you can't change your FOV. You can't. It's all very limited based the, around the the, the PC limiting. settings are terrible. Yeah, because it all has to be hyper controlled so everyone can be on the same playing field for this ridiculous PvP, which it, it, has no it point. It doesn't make sense, that because, I mean, Rainbow Six, it, you can be playing with someone running 20 frames a second, and I'm... And because Bethesda, they're not a multiplayer company. No. What expertise do they have in this kind of networking? They, they don't this have kind expertise of game design? in anything. No, they really don't. Like... <laughs> They, they're not. They, they're, their maps aren't even impressive anymore. No, that's the thing. They don't make the the best maps. They don't make the best uh, gameplay. They don't make the best online service. They don't, they even don't make the best stories. Yeah, they don't make the best stories. Their they don't make the sucks. best looking games. Their voice so. acting sucks. Yeah. That is every element of the game. I didn't even like the music in this game. I thought the music was good. It has no character. Nothing about the game ha has anything to say. Yeah. There's no... There's <clears throat> nothing to it. And anything that, that you are getting from it is because of your nostalgia and memories and fondness of Fallout from the past. They're selling this game based on the clout of Fallout. Yeah, pretty much. But where, where I differ from you, I do think... I said earlier the the progression is good, and I it, guess. it is satisfying, and the personalization in that regard, and obviously because it's just basically a fact with any game, playing with your friend or friends is going to be fun. I watched a video this morning that said, as a counter to that argument, watching the room with friends is fun, but it doesn't make the room good. The room is good though. <laughs> You know um, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't say there's no enjoyment to be had because I could see people playing this way longer than they should and putting way more time into it than they should. But I mean, it's up to them. Um, <clears throat> I mean, because gamers will accept anything. So yeah, pretty much. They'll, if the, if it's an IP that they love, they'll make excuses till the, the end of time. So. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly think it's a, a worthless game. I think it's a, an embarrassment on Bethesda's history, and I think they should be like ashamed of the state the game is launched in. It's so silly, because everyone knows at this point that there's no NPCs in the game. Mm -hmm. but one, one of the Fallout fanbase's biggest complaints about the game. Honestly. Yeah, but 
quest givers can just be robots. Like the robots that are pretty much NPCs. Mm -hmm. And the way... That, because my, my assumption was that the lack of NPCs wasn't a story thing. It's either like they couldn't get the game to run because the engine is so old having NPCs around. Or they were worried that other players would attack the NPCs. Yeah, so they'd have to just be invincible the world. or something and then yeah. ruin them. But they have, they have NPCs in the world, these robots that are invincible when you shoot them. I tested it today. So why is that aspect just pulled out? I, yeah, I did hear a quote when I was watching a video about it of them trying to justify the wor why there are no NPCs and it was something about immersion. Some bullshit, like, you know, yeah, total crap response. Well, what about the just little little things where it's like, okay, you've made this co-op game that's all about managing inventories, clunky, awkward inventories, mm -hmm. um, filling bars like hunger and, and water yeah, that, bars. Of course. Actually, that yeah, let's just let's talk about actually put a pin in that for a second. Yeah. Um, maintaining weapons, um, g checking over your status effects, and everything. all these different things, but things like. Repairing your weapons, using shops, one player at a time can do it. Yeah, I've got that in my list right here. Which is the most absurd design choice. Which the probably just carries over from Fallout 4 because they can just reuse animations, the, the animation of you going into like yeah. the, the repair depot thing onto the bench. I, I don't know why they couldn't just make it so like your screen just goes blank and you click and... Yeah, why can't your it just the, uh, the menu pop up on your screen? Yeah. As long as you're near it. But the, I've got here, um, they call it quality of life, right? Where yeah. it's so much of the game is anti quality of life. Yeah. You get a disease, you gotta go, you gotta bring up your Pip Boy, which the screen is just horrible for. You can turn that off. Yeah, but I mean, it's still a small part of your screen. It's not easy to navigate. But the, the, the other setting makes it way better. I found out how to do it. And it's, it's not. Really, it, I thought it was much better. It's than not as good board. as like the Skyrim one. No, because it's just the whole screen. Be yeah, because it's such a small part of the screen. So you've you get a disease, and it's doing some bad stuff. To get rid of it, you got to open your pit boy, go to aid, and find the specific thing amongst all of the flowers, the meat, the drink, mm. the the stim packs, the radaway, the the drugs, and find that one th item that you need within all of that. Um. <laughs> There's obviously the food and drink. Same yeah, problem. Yeah, you go take the pen out. The so unfun. It's what I feared Red Dead would be. Yeah. They, there's no depth beyond it being a hunger bar and a, a yeah. thirst bar. It doesn't tie into anything and else. And it's like, yeah, it's like in Red Dead, you're sort of attached to the character, so you sort of feel bad if you're starving, right? and it all feeds back into this yeah. this true role-playing experience but it's, of it's, playing something. It's not just like a, a picture of a chicken bone no. that's draining. Yeah. It it seriously impacts everything. Yeah. But not in an overbearing way, whereas this game it's just like there is a huge bar at the bottom of your screen. And when and, it the, and the game is way less fun. Yeah. Because of it. Like the like this game would be much better without the hunger and thirst bars. Like it just would be better in yeah. every way. Whereas with Red Dead, like well, I, that's I'm the fine thing. with it. Red Dead has a better quality of life. You hold right on the D-pad, you press A on the thing. I mean, we were, t we were saying about how they do a poor job of explaining things in Red Dead 2 to you, like mechanics. Yeah. It's a 10 out of 10 in terms of that stuff compared to this game. It just assumes you've played Fallout 4, so I'm just like, yeah. I come in, you guys have all played Fallout 4, so you know what you're doing, and I'm just like, I have no clue what the fuck you're supposed to do. I'm not familiar with Fallout 4. Yeah, I, didn't even, I wouldn't have even considered that as a bad thing. Until I realized that you hadn't played Fallout 4, so you just knew nothing. And I guess the game hadn't informed you. No. There are- there's other- I mean, just like walking into a room that has a chair on it, and a table, mm -hmm. by it. And you're picking up the items on the table, you accidentally press E on that chair, you're stuck into a 20 minute animation of your character sitting down, and then you gotta move the analog stick, or WASD, whatever you're using, to stand back up out of the chair. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wh why is that even a feature? It's just carryovers from Fallout 4, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it just wastes your time. This this game loves to waste your time. The game loves to waste your time, and it also loves for you to sort of design the game for them. And, yeah. and make your own fun. 
where it's like, look, we've given you this uh, huge map with so much to do and interact with. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's enough. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. Yeah, this game is horribly problematic. Well, nothing about- literally nothing about it is good. Like you said the leveling up is, but... It, so what if, if it's fun to level up the shit gameplay, which is unfun? You know the, what I mean? It's, it's close to feeling right, but when, when a game feels wrong that wants you to play for hours and hours and hours... Wait, it... Do you think... Ain't right. Did, does Fallout 4, because you've played it more recently than I... Yeah. With the gunplay, does it feel better um, than in 76? More responsive, I mean. It's, it's the same, really. Apart from 76 runs worse. It runs worse, and when there are four people gathered around a bunch of enemies, you yeah. just can't tell what's going on. It's just uh, complete yeah. chaos. Going back to the quality of life, though, um, say you're trying to open a box, and someone walks in front of you. Mm -hmm. Just can't. Really? You can't jump if someone walks in front of you, because that you hold the space bar on PC um, to trade with someone. So the second someone walks in front of you, that's the command that's taken over from jumping. <laughs> and the amount of times that has pissed me off, or I've lost out on an item because somebody's walked in front of me and taken it. Really? Yeah, and going on from that, the, the controls on PC specifically are fucking atrocious. Well, the controls are bad on, because I, I played on PC but with a controller. Mm -hmm. um, they're not good either. But it, it's more designed for a controller than PC. Trying to even build then it's something clunky on a controller. Yeah. But trying to build something in the the camp place, you've got to use Z and C to like scroll between the different things you want, and then go back up to WASD to like move around. What and do you think about the building compared to Fallout 4? It seems identical. Supposedly, the space you have to build in is much smaller than in Fallout 4. Yeah. It, yeah, it absolutely is. In Fallout 4, um, you'd go to an area, you'd discover that it's like one of the areas you can build in. And one of them is just like a huge parking lot. Mm. Whereas in this, it's like just a circle around the thing you put down. We haven't even mentioned the glitches yet. It's a Bethesda game. It's a given. It's not an excuse. No, it's not. It, not it's, at this point. It's a given, and it's embarrassing. That's just what I mean about this game being so embarrassing, especially when it's so reliant on the gameplay and yeah. everything working. Like, say what you want about Destiny, but those games, they are polished. Yeah. You know, you don't have shit like AI T-posing and just breaking. Yeah, the yeah. amount of times I've walked into a room and all the enemies just slide mm -hmm. around the room, just doing whatever the fuck they're doing. They clearly did not understand the the amount of work was actually required to pull this off. No. They sh why didn't they stick to what they knew? I have they no could idea. have made. They could have used this very map, the very assets they already have, all the artists have already done, mm -hmm. and designed a single player RPG. But because that's not chasing a trend, because it's not just making a good game on its own good merits. Yeah. It's not good enough for them, I suppose. Got to have a live service. Yeah, it's got to be a fucking live service. Even though that's why us n no one is playing Bethesda games for that reason. They're playing it because they want an RPG. They're playing it because they want a story. They want they love mods, customizing this huge map of their own. Yeah, making it their own. You just can't do any of that. I in think Fallout 76. Another problem with this game is how poorly it was advertised. Well, I thought the advertising was decent, to be honest. I Got I didn't know what the game was. What's the same with Destiny? You can't advertise yeah. something like this, because it's just like a sort of MMO. But what was weird about it was that after I'd played it for five hours, I still didn't know what it was. Really? I knew pretty quick what it was. Well, I was playing it and I was like, what am I doing? Why yeah. am I doing any of this? Because the, it doesn't have a, a plot you can latch onto. It has no hook. There is no hook. The, the hook is the progression. If if it does it for you. Thing is, like, 
if this was a, this was a single player game with a similar progression system, and there were there were actual story beats, characters, mm -hmm. um, gameplay was a bit more refined. I mean, I'd be sold probably. Yeah, I'd be in. Um, but the menus, the hunger and thirst bars, it's a pain to play. Yeah. I, I, it, I'm not joking when I say I had no fun playing it. It was just giving me a headache. Well, yeah, the, those hunger and thirst bars are... I can't think of any reason they exist other than to lengthen game time. Like that how, is exactly it, because you because have to it grind. Ju it just slows you down. Yeah, it's it's like, not even a grind thing. No, it is a grind thing, because it's... Okay, I'm going to go do this quest now. Oh, hang on, before I can do that, I need to go and prepare so I have enough food and drink so I can but keep playing for a couple the more The thing hours. is, if once you've played for 10 hours, you have enough stuff on you to last for the rest of the game. Because you're just going to keep getting more and more shit. Mm -hmm. well, in that case, and what's even so, the point of it? Yeah, exactly. So it's just like, let's go. Oh, wait, I've got to stop. I'm going to eat, going to drink. There we go. They okay, now I can go. They don't think about how the mechanics actually affect the whole system no. of the game. If if you want that to be a tension thing, then you make food scarce. You make mm -hmm. drink scarce. And if it's you want like they give you too much freedom and too many restrictions at the same time. It's really weird. Well if it's gonna be a survival game it should be harder. Yeah. But it should the game have is the piss easy. Have you found it difficult in any way? In the bullshit way like a, a really high level Skyrim enemy is <laughs> <laughs> it's the same with Destiny, you know, it's like the Unless you've got a thousand people around you, which could have... I mean, if you have, like, four high-level dudes that happen to be near you, they might just be nice and do everything for you. But then it's not fun. That's the thing Unless for every... For this to be fun, this would have to work, but that thing doesn't work, and so... The amount of times I've died, because in Fallout, every Fallout up to this point, you get out your pit boy you freeze time... You can heal yourself, like, look at yeah, what course. he's doing. In this one, I I get fumbled because, like, there's so much shit going on. I've got to find the right hotkey mm -hmm. to heal myself or go into the wheel that, that just feels a bit off, like the weapon wheel. Um, that would be for controllers, wouldn't it? Yeah. But also because everything is in real time now, which just makes gameplay more annoying. Yeah. Because the game isn't... It's, it's not designed to be a twitchy, responsive. No. It's clunky and slow. Like, Fallout's always been clunky as fuck. That's why that you have VAT, which is in this game for some reason. Yeah. And it... What's the point? <sighs> it makes you less effective. When I was trying to use it, I was I was spending more time trying to get VATs to work than just aiming. And mm -hmm. looking down the sights would have done. In, in half the time. This is uh, what I mean, man. We haven't said any positives about the game. I have. And it's one thing. And it's a caveat, basically. It's full of caveats. Yeah, it... It's so strange, because... I am going to play this game more. But I know it's bad. Mm-hmm. It... I think one of the positive that's also a negative is the random player interaction. Because it is sort of MMO light, mm. and you come across these random people, and that that can be somewhat. That engaging. in theory should be the hook of the game. Yeah, but the th they they wanted it to be sort of a rare occurrence when you bump into someone else, which it is. But ninety percent of the time that's happened, they're doing their own thing. I talk to them with game chat, saying some bullshit because I just have it on twenty four seven. They just say nothing. Oh yeah, because there's no um, there's no setting to be able to hold to chat, and there's yeah. no text chat. I don't think either. No. <laughs> In a fucking, I just can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I just hate how everyone's giving it a pass because it's Bethesda and Fallout. If it was EA it or Activision. Well, I mean, you guys sort of are, a little bit. After everything I just said. This this game is flawed to fuck. It's a and a dreadful game. I, it really is ab abysmal. I was this close to not getting it, and the the reason that pushed me over the edge to getting it was this video. I wanted so, to talk, so be able to talk it, about yeah. it. This just <laughs> don't buy it. 
you can't support this sort of. That's what I mean. Like behavior. if we're gonna, yeah. Just because you might love Fallout, yeah. it's not good enough. It's, no, the, yeah, that's that's exactly what they're looking for to get their cash. Because they know they they look at how many millions of copies Fallout sell, and they're like, well, even if we sell half of that, I'm gonna make yeah. a fuck ton of money. Because <laughs> well, considering they've clearly not put in any dev work. Because this well, game is they, Fallout 4. They've admitted 4. themselves that they, they can make maps very quickly, right? Yeah. Because of how familiar they are with their ancient tech. Mm -hmm. So if that's not taking them a bunch of time, and there are there are a couple new enemies, but they're not complex in any, no, no, in no, any no, no. gameplay mechanics. They have way. no... Like, a possum in Red Dead 2 has more AI complexity than any enemy <laughs> in Fallout 4. So true, yeah. Yeah. Anything in Red Dead would be more complex than this. Like the 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 systems going on in a game like Red Dead compared to what well, it it shows, like yeah, what what they're doing with their time. Which is making me question: What the fuck were they doing? Just trying to figure out how to, the bare in the barest way, make the game work. And even then, it it doesn't. It's yeah. fundamentally broken. Every element of the game is fundamentally broken and flawed, and they don't complement each other. No, no decision complements anything else in the game. Mm -hmm. I, what I would recommend to people that are in, interested. Hopefully, you've already bought Red Dead Two. Play that some more. Red Dead Two Online is out soon. Mm. Play that, and then wait a couple years. They'll probably have fixed it a bit, and then buy it pre-owned. It just shouldn't be supported, you know? No. I, th I think it's just as scummy as the shit EA do. Just as scummy as the shit Activision do. Yeah, it, it, it's... Because it has a store as well, full of... Of they just, course. They copied that as well. It's no different to the way Destiny sells their, their like, pack things. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's not quite as bad as Destiny. Because it, it's... There's no incentive because... It's, it's not just random, pointless. at least. It's not random, but it's, like... It's there, and it's an option, but... It's almost so inessential that there's no incentive. Well, yeah, I, what I was, what I like about the customization in terms of the looks in the game is like where you found that thing, and like I, I got this and it's mine, mm -hmm. not I just bought it from a store where anyone else can yeah. get it. <laughs> it. It fundamentally goes against the whole philosophy of exploring and mm -hmm. you know expressing yourself through things you have found. It's the whole reason I find the ones in Destiny so embarrassing as well. Yeah. It's like, well, you're just you're putting yourselves down by by offering this kind mm -hmm. of thing for for sale. And in Fallout it's like all this shit w w has been in the games previously. Mm -hmm. You know, this kind of customization customization stuff, but previously it was just in the games you could find them. You just look up a guide and it's like, where do I find uh, that bit, that thing? Yeah. And it's there on the map and you can just go do that. Yeah. And it would have a cool, like, in-game effect. Like, wearing a suit will give you more charisma. Yeah. Been wearing new. a doctor's outfit makes you more intelligent. Nope. 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 I, I think I will have this game uninstalled by the end of next month. Well, I'll I'll have it uninstalled probably by the end of tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have it uninstalled by the end of the video, right? Uh, there's not much more in depth. There's nothing, you can get. yeah, to it, really break down. I just I'm I'm looking forward to when this has a 75 meta score. Yeah, which would be like, and all these fucking game journalists like, well, um, it looks ugly and the gameplay's bad and there's no story and it goes against everything that makes Fallout Fallout, but. It's pretty awesome. It's got death claws in it. Shooting ray bursts. <laughs> Alex taking down games media one journalist at a time. It's true though. Because they don't want to hurt their relationship with Bethesda for when the next Elder Scrolls comes out. Can we please get if, the next Elder Scrolls game, early? If that game is anything remotely close to what they've done up till now. I feel like Bethesda. I cross them off my Bethesda to me, list um, in terms of like Elder Scrolls and Fallout, irrelevant. They they belong in 2011. 
everything after that. Mm. They have not adapted. They've not grown in terms of the creative output. Plenty of good ideas going on at that studio, but they're held back by the technology, and they're probably held back by Todd Howard, who he seems like a, like a know-it-all kind of yeah. Almost we co- don't he need comes to do across that. we're Bethesda. Yeah, he comes across as being cocky. Like yeah. at the latest E3, he was joking about how when his games release, they're broken. Mm-hmm. And it was like that's not something to be, joke about and be proud of. Yeah, it's actually fucking annoying. I had a quest break. That same one I was talking about where I had to inter- interact with the things. It broke right at the end because for some reason some enemies just aggroed to me. And I could mm-hmm. I couldn't pass in the quest and get my reward. I think the second what, the what Witcher 3 came bug. out. The second the Witcher 3 came out, Bethesda were just irrelevant. Yeah. Because it's like, well, that game does everything mm-hmm. that something like Elder Scrolls had done, but twenty times better. And now you have games like Red Dead and other open world games that are far more impressive in every way, aren't totally broken, <laughs> you know, more user friendly. The only thing they have is that is IP that people care about. They have a lot of IPs that people care about as well. Well, the thing is, I really like um, Wolfenstein. Yeah. Love Wolfenstein, and they own that. But they don't make them because I'm sure if they made Wolfenstein games, they'd be terrible. They'd just be. Skyrim with Nazis and guns. But it's like, yeah, but when I first started playing it, I think I was in Discord with you and Ruben, and I was in third person, I was like, this looks exactly like Skyrim. Mm. The the crouch animation, the... You can see how little they've come. What I don't get is like, okay, you're using the same engine, right? Why does that mean every animation has to be the same? That's not... <laughs> they're, they're not the, the same. You mean they're... like as Skyrim? <laughs> A lot of them are, like, really similar. A lot of the animations and sort of... Just the framework of everything. Yeah, I don't... We don't know shit about developing a game. Like, but, like, the... Engines or whatever. The, ima- the All the COD games, right, have been using the same engine for a very long time. Yeah. They look better, don't they? They, 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 have diff- they look different, at the very least. They have new yeah. animations, they've got new models. But, like... It looks no better than Skyrim, to me. The thing is, when with COD, they had they've had good gameplay for a long time, mm-hmm. so they had a baseline where they were like, "This is good. We don't need to fix this." Skyrim combat isn't good. Their gameplay. That's what I mean. Is not the, good. The, the, the thing that is at the bottom of their pyramid, the structural foundation of it, mm-hmm. is something that is irrelevant and outdated for for 2018. Yeah. So any, it doesn't matter how good the things are you build on top of it. If this ancient tech is what you're, what the foundations are built on, <laughs> it's going to be shit. And yeah. Todd has already announced or whatever that Starfield, their next game, and the new Elder Scrolls is going to be on the same engine. So, Are you serious? Yeah, did you not know this? No. Yeah. The next Elder Scrolls? Yes. So um, hopefully really this game is a wake-up call to them to be like, shit, we need to fucking... Call up Epic Games now. Yeah. We're getting Unreal and we're going to actually make a real game for a fucking change. Well, I think that about does it. The Bethesda rant. <laughs> game hate, of Rage. I hate, I hate this game and I feel like my Game of Rage is justified because I, I paid 20 oh, quid yeah. for it or whatever. Absolutely. Because I, ca- I kept seeing all these videos for it and I was like, oh, that, that enemy looks interesting. The idea of this is kind of cool. Yeah, that giant sloth, pretty cool. Yeah. That big bat. Whoa. Yeah. Mothman. Sweet as fuck. Mothman, yeah, sweet as fuck. Yeah. Oh, but, but then it's like, <laughs> I want to explore, I want to do thing, but playing this is just horrible. <laughs> Doing anything is the worst. That's just how Bethesda be. Yeah, man. Hello. Oh, Oh, well. well, on that note, uh, go follow Mothman at 4funnies on Twitter. And it certainly is as bad as they say, if not worse. Yeah. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if this game was good? Actually, I don't really care. <laughs>
Wouldn't it be nice if Bethesda didn't suck?